Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today's card is a really cute card. I'm using this pocket full of sunshine set with the matching dies from Stampin' Up. And I'm also using the Page Huggers by Mama Elephant. I've been meaning to use these two sets together for a while. I'm using the mouse along with the glasses and the smiley face. And then I'm using my new turnabout stamp called uh, Sunshine. So I'm going to stamp my mouse in some Memento Tuxedo Black ink on Nina cardstock and I'm going to stamp the mouth and the eyeglasses also. And I'm going to just going to quickly color him with some Copic markers. First I'm going to start by coloring the glasses with C1. And I'm just going to trim that off so I can turn it around and you can see it easily. And now I'm going to start with the C4, it's just my darkest gray color. I'm just flicking upward. Because I'm cutting him out, I'm not too worried about uh, staying in the lines, which makes this coloring really, really easy. So once I get my C4 down, I'm gonna go in with the C2. And I'm just kind of starting the same way, just going over the whole C4 and extending it out. And I'll cover over the C4 enough to where I don't see any line between the C4 and the C2 and then along with the ears here. And then finally, I'm just gonna take my C1 and just cover anything that's not covered. So I'm just gonna speed this up really fast because I'm just trying to make this a really quick and easy thing. So cover the whole thing. And then I noticed I really wanted a little bit more dimension to his uh, arms that are hanging over. So I took my C4 again and I'm just gonna color the left side and then a little bit around the curve on the bottom on both of his paws here. And then I'll take my C2 and just sort of blend that out a little bit. And this is just gonna make his uh, arms look like they're kind of rounding around the pocket when I put them on there. Okay, so the nose comes empty. I'm not sure why, I always fill it in. This is just a 0.3 Copic liner. So make his nose solid. And then I'm gonna cut him out with a scissor. I do not have the dies, but the dies actually cut the outside as well as the arms that uh, kind of hug whatever you attach it to. So I have to manually cut these out each time. I'm just using an X-Acto knife and a mat, and I'm just cutting on the outside of the black line so that I get a black outline when the arms are hugging the pocket. So I'm just going around in a circle here, just a little bit at a time. I'm trying to be really careful because I can be a little bit clumsy. I don't wanna cut myself. You can see I've got kind of a vice grip on everything here. So I'm just gonna flip it over, just make sure I got all the different segments. And then I just went ahead and did that uh, same thing on the other side. So you can see how the arms pop up here. I wanted my pocket to look like a jean pocket, so I have Marina Mist cardstock by Stampin' Up, and I have faded jeans. And I'm just gonna do a direct to paper. Notice I'm not pressing too hard because I would just want to get kind of a light uh, covering of this faded jeans. I want my stitching to be pretty subtle, so I'm just gonna stamp it in some pumpkin pie. Here's my outline. And then I'm gonna grab my sentiment from the My Sunshine set by Simon Says Stamp. And I'm just using it, I'm not gonna stamp it yet, I'm just using it to place that other stitching line. And then I'm gonna put my die on here and secure it with some surgical tape and run it through the Big Shot. Next, I'm gonna add some brads, which I haven't used in forever. So I have this uh, storage case full of brads and buttons. I'm just gonna poke a hole. This is a piercing mat, it's really super old. But I've got my paper piercer, I'm just gonna work a hole in there. And then I'm gonna put my uh, brad in. And I'm gonna be folding those outside edges of the pocket, so I wanna make sure that the ends of my brad kind of don't go over that score line. So I'm gonna make them crooked. Now you could put both of them off to the side, like toward the inside, so you don't have to worry about it. But I didn't wanna do that, I wanted to make sure it was secure, so I just kind of maneuvered them so that they were kind of perpendicular there. And so I put one on the upper right hand corner, and then I did one on the upper left, and then one uh, in the middle. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit longer before I add my sentiment. So I'm gonna do the background now. I've cut a piece of six by six inch cardstock. This is crumb cake. And I've drawn diagonal lines from corner to corner and then I've labeled them one, two, three, and four. And I'll link to another video that I used the turnabout stamp with a little bit more detail on how to create this. So here is the back of the packaging and it shows me exactly where to put my sunshine stamp. I'm actually not being too particular about the placement because the center is where it matters and that's not visible. So I have a piece of Nina cardstock at four and an eighth by five and three eighths and I'm gonna adhere it to the bottom of this template with some surgical tape. 
And then I'm gonna adhere my mouse quickly to the pocket just for placement purposes. I'm just trying to figure out where I want my sunshine rays to be. So my pocket, I'm gonna draw a line at the top of my pocket and that's where I want my rays to stop. So I'll put a post-it just underneath those pencil guidelines. Now I'm gonna figure out which ones. I need to do these three here. So my first color is fossilized amber. This is a Distress Oxide ink. I really like to use the Distress Oxides because they clean up really easily and um, they also give a pretty nice image. I'm actually gonna to toss a couple of magnets on here quickly and then I will press it down. And I also find that I usually need two layers of the color. I don't know if it's because maybe my ink pad's a little too juicy and so that's why I'm not getting a completely solid image, but two seems to do the trick. Now I'm gonna clean it up. I'm using my absorber, which I tend not to use with pigment inks, but it works great and just fine with the oxide inks. Now I wanna make sure that my stamp is completely dry. So what I normally do is just take a piece of paper and just kind of put it on there to absorb any residual water from when I washed it. And now I'm gonna take my template and I'm gonna move it uh, 90 degrees to quadrant number two. And then I'm gonna get ready to stamp my second stamp. So there's four total with this turnabout. So my second image is going to be in worn lipstick. So I already forgot, so I had to put it back down. So I'm gonna ink up these two rays here and then I'm gonna do it twice actually. And so I just, I don't know, decided to add pink to the mix. Next, I'm going to turn it again for impression number three. Notice I'm not moving anything except the template. So I'm keeping my post-it where it is, my Nina where it is, uh, and I'm just moving the template itself. And the stamp does not also move from the Misty. This is Spiced Marmalade, I'm gonna do that one twice. And then finally, for the last one in quadrant four, I'm using Daffodil Delight by Stampin' Up. So I just wanted to add more of a brighter yellow to the mix. And so anyway, that is it. So four impressions total with four different colors. And so I'm gonna remove my post-it and you can see it's now gonna look like my rays are coming out of the pocket. I'm gonna see if my pocket is dry. So I'm gonna put some embossing powder on there and nothing sticks, so it's ready. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment with some Versamark ink and then I'm gonna sprinkle it with white embossing powder. I use Hero Arts and then heat it to set it. And then I can fold over uh, all of the edges to my pocket. So this allows the pocket to sort of pop out from the card a little bit. So I'm gonna use my bone folder to crease them down and make sure I get everything really nice and flat. I had to be a little extra careful around the brads to make sure I didn't wrinkle the paper. Okay, now I'm gonna put some Tombow Mana Multi Glue on the front of my mouse, just below where he's gonna hang over, and this will stick him to my pocket. So I'm just gonna put him right on top and put his paws in the front. And then I'll just press it down. This glue dries really quickly. And then I'm going to put that same glue on my pocket edges. I'm gonna put a very, very thin line right in the middle so I have a little bit of room to move a little bit when I place it onto the sunshine panel. And uh, you just need a thick layer. You don't want it oozing out the side because it is tacky when it dries. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right where my pencil lines were. And I wanna make sure that it really stays in place. So I'm gonna add a few acrylic blocks here just for maybe like two minutes or so, just to make sure that it's completely dry and adhered to the, the panel. Okay, so after a few minutes, I'm gonna take that off and now my panel's ready. I'll put some ATG tape runner on the back and I'm adhering it to a Marina Mist. It's the same color I used for the pocket uh, base. So you can see I have about an, a 16th of an inch mat on all sides. And then finally, one last detail is to put some glossy accents on his glasses. And that is the card for today. Such a cute little mouse here. I really like the way it turned out. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.